Hi and welcome to this SSRS tutorial and today we're going to look at the page break options and the row header options. We're going to look at um, the options that you can select when you're working with more than one tablet and, and maybe a, a, quite a bit of data. Um, there's, there's kind of pitfalls with this. Uh, you can you can it looks like you're setting things up in one way, but actually it doesn't work quite as you'd expect. So I'm going to try and go through a couple of examples and show you maybe where where it doesn't work as you expect and how to get it to work as you want it to. So on screen I've got a uh, a report with three tablixes. Uh, each tablix I've I've uh, added the the same date is set to each so it's it's just kind of for testing purposes and i've just made it the same data multiple times just to make each one bigger than one page so i'll just add a, a fourth um a fourth element to that so it's going to be a little bit bigger now if i do a print preview so if i do a preview now you should see here that we've gone to the second page and the third page and the fourth page um, and somewhere down here there should be the third tablet's header there it is what I want to do is I want each of them to be on a separate page so there's a couple of ways of doing that after each tablet if I uh, right click in the header so if I click on a, uh, the table here and right click in the header I get this tablet's properties and here we've got these page break options. So what I can do here, this is the the first tablet here. So I can say, give me a page break after this one. Okay, so I'll do that. And I can do the same here. And I can say, do page break after this one. Um, you've also got just an option to say, put a page break before this, which obviously works in reverse. So if I now run that, there's the first page and then the end of that and then there's the sorry the second tablix and there's the end of it and the third that works fine um now what we can do maybe we don't want six pages so we, we actually want everything on one page if possible so each of the the tablix is on on one page if possible so if i right click again and go to properties here we've got an option of keep together on one page if possible so we click OK on that and um, I'll just do it for the first one here and if I click on preview you'll now see that this actually goes all the way down to the very bottom and if I got the second page there's the um, there's the second page and this this goes up to the onto two pages because I haven't selected that tick box now if I go back here uh, I'm just going to try and break something here if I can. So if I go to Tablix properties and take that page break after off, and I'm instead I'm going to select this one here, and I'm going to put page break before and after. And now if I do a print preview, um, now when I got the second page, it's blank, and there's. My, my second tablet on the third page the second page is blank and that's because um this is bigger than a page so it goes beyond a page uh, so when this here says um put a page break before this tablet because this goes beyond a page um this is putting a page break after if you like after the first page which is giving you a blank second page so if you find that to get round it you need to play about with these tick boxes here to get it to work now this is an old version of visual studio it's the only working version i've got which is 2012 um it might be this, is, this isn't an issue in later versions but there is a way doing it in the way i've just shown here by changing the um tick box uh, options fixes it in this example but sometimes it's it's as simple as moving these things closer together um, but it's usually an issue because of a very long um, set of data on one page so it's usually caused by this here being ticked 
So the next thing that I want to do is, if I what I'm going to do is I'll just untick this um, now and put this back to how it was. So now we're going to have six pages. Um, and what I want to do is I want to repeat the header for each of these at the top of each page. So if I click on here, there's no header. And now you you know it's hard to work out what these three columns are particularly. So if we go back to design. In here, in the options, there is a, a, a checkbox that says repeat header rows on each page. And if I tick that, you'd be forgiven to think that it's going to repeat the header at the top of the page, but it doesn't. Um, I honestly don't know why it doesn't, but it doesn't. It might work in some cases, but in this case, it, it doesn't work. So it doesn't mean it's not possible. It just doesn't, you can't do it in that way. So the way we do it is we select the tablets that we're interested in having the headers repeat. When we've got this selected, this little down arrow here next to column groups is now active. Now, if we didn't have anything selected, it's not active. There's nothing, you can't press it. So you've got to select the, the tablets that you want to repeat the headers for, and suddenly this becomes active. If I click on the drop down here and I choose advanced mode, now you see you've got all these little options here. What we're interested in is this static uh, option here under row groups. We click on that, and then we've got this repeat on new page option here. And if we make that true, and now we take a look, it now repeats the headers. Um, we've got a space at the top, and that's just because um, it's, it's very particular. If you leave white space anywhere, then um, SSRS will leave white space. So if I just try and kind of tidy this up a little bit, um, see if this sorts it. Remember, when you come to move things, you, you click on it. Um, you can't move it like that. You've got to click on the little box at the top left, and it kind of changes the way it's been selected and then you've got this little cross button there you can grab it and drag and then um, that will sort that out now if i go to preview it ought to be a little bit tidier so if i go to the next yeah that looks a lot better um and if i do the same thing for the second because i've made that little bit oh now it's already selected um so i just need to click on here change that to true and let's see how that looks for the second tablets Ah, it's got that little gap there, but um, and that can be fixed by pulling up a little bit, and it should click there. I think. And be careful though, because depending if you if you pull it up a little bit too far, it, it tries to actually insert itself in a, a another cell. So I'll just press Control Z and undo that. Um, so hopefully that second tablet should now look a little bit, a tiny bit. Um, if you wanted to get very particular with that, there is a location option here. So you've got um, the location from the left, which is zero centimeters, and the location from the top, which is currently 2.75278 centimeters. So you could be incredibly precise and maybe just take those off. And, um, let's see if it moves. Let me just take that off maybe. Oh, selecting the wrong one. Um, so the location is one point of that. If I just take that off, it's gone up a little bit. Might just make it a little bit tidier. Yeah, lovely. Okay, and um, that's the end of this video. I hope it was help to you. Um, if you liked it, please a thumbs up would be appreciated. And any feedback is always always appreciated too. Um, Thanks very much for watching. Appreciate your time. See you next time.